Hello my soccer universe. Yeah, shouldn't kid anyone. I still feel kind of sicklish, but let's get this over with the Europa League. I really thought I should do this video telling you the exact schedule of what is happening in the Europa League, when are the games, and then also a little bit comment on the draw because that kind of went a little bit sideways and I decided maybe it's the it's a better way to do it this way. Um, because you also get a feeling when you see who is playing whom of actually that again it will be most of the big teams that will make the group stage um there are only a few teams of the ones that i put up there this is already my champions league slash europa league background here is basically current europa league teams this is all champions league teams none of which are quality all of those are already qualified behind me here two are playing it's spurs and Milan, and then of course my beloved Lusk wearing the Europa League, and that's why I'm <laughs> with the Europa League patch here from last season. It will be a tough road ahead. Let's see the games. Um, it starts actually today already with Apollo Limassol against Lech Poznan. Um, I think Limassol probably will go through. Then, you know, now it's already mixed. There is Champions Path and League uh, Path all uh, put together. Um, you see the early games. I, for some reason, I've marked myself with Fehava, Stade de Reims, because Stade de Reims is like a little bit on the way down. And Fehava, you know, Hungarian team that has been doing some noise in the group stage two years ago, when they were still called Molvidi. Uh, this is a team that changes names all the time. Rostov against Makave Haifa is a potential sleeper. Not much, uh, not sure how many <laughs> you will see in Besiktas Rio Ave. It's because you know, we follow in Portugal, I want to mention that. And Besiktas is probably the team in Turkey that I like most. Um, let's move to the second slate. At your gardens against Cluj. Cluj probably favored there. Then we have a, a flower duel between Florian and Flora, which I find interesting. Um, Holland, uh, PSV has to go to Enes Mura. Um, then in Champions, but uh, Riga Celtic, you know. Celtic is a team that you would expect to go in there um, just because they played just this crazy game. Uh, FCSB, uh, what should be Stauer Bucharest, is playing there. Uh, yeah, that's basically here on the second page. Third page uh, it was interesting to me because if Hartberg moved on, they would have played against Copenhagen, but uh, nothing like that. I think Galatasaray Hajduk split. Uh, it a little bit hurts me that you know there's no Yugoslav league anymore because Hajduk split was a top team. Ever since the Croatia, it's all Dinamo Zagreb and Hajduk is completely falling away. Uh, and Galatas, I mean, it's a tasty tie, but I think Galatasaray will win this easily. Uh, Granada will hopefully not have problems against Lok Tbilisi. Uh, and there's also Dinamo Tbilisi. So they are playing at the same time, playing in Klaxvik. And as I said, this was, they have actually won a European comp comp competition in 83. Um, Spurs plays at Skendia. Uh, that should be easy, but you know, ne you never know with Spurs. Uh, and Wolfsburg has a home game against a Ukrainian team, Desna uh, Chernihiv. Should not be a problem, to be honest. Um, then, uh, this is already the last page, Milan Bode Glimt at 8.30, uh, same time Lask is playing Dunas Castreda, Basel against Fafan I mean, the many games at 8.30, Spurs also was, uh, 8, uh, was 8 o'clock. Uh, St. Gallen Ajax is, a, you know, uh, St. Gallen played a really good, good Swiss championship, so Ajax also kind of in the that should, should be level. Then, as we'll see, in port, uh, interesting to me, Sporting against Aberdeen. Sporting probably will do it, but I know now why the game got postponed. It was uh, COVID uh, with Gilles Vicente. And then William Dway against Rangers uh, might be the pick of the bunch, almost, because that's Netherlands against uh, Scotland. And usually would favor the Netherlands, but I think here I probably would favor the Rangers, but who knows? So this is kind of pick your games, go through through the video. Um, as I said, I probably will only see Lusk and I will follow Milan as good as I can. So those will be my two games, because those are my two absolute favorite teams. And let's see, who will the winners play? We have a few games that are already confirmed. This is now all champions path. We already know that on the 1st of October, Young Boys will play Tirana. 
uh, at 8.30 and we know that Dinamo Brest is playing against Ludogorets uh, Razgrad at 8. And this is now in the order they were drawn, so the next time you will see this, this will already be jumbled up and I probably will do a similar video in a week's time. Uh, so those we are, 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 are in all. Zagreb got a really nice uh, draw, if you like, uh, playing as Floriano or Flora, so that's Malta um, or Estonia. Uh, the next matchup that is still not decided between, I think Cluj should, should, should be a favorite one because uh, neither Kuopio nor Suduva, I think will be a match uh, for Dio Gardens or Cluj. And I would favor Cluj in that one. Um, Young Boys Tirana clearly uh, favored Young Boys. Dinamo Brest, Ludo Gores is a little bit more even. I would give the slight edge to Ludo Gores, but you never know. Uh, but uh, Cervena Svestar will also, although they have an away team, Ararat or Celia, uh, probably will be Ararat or Celia. I don't know. I, I, it's hard to call for me, but uh, given that Ararat has um, the home uh, field, field advantage. Then uh, the next one, Sarja Buducnost. Um, will play home to Riga or Celtic, and I think Celtic should go through there, even though they have two away games there. Uh, Lega Vasha against Karabar, uh, Drita from, uh, I think, Albania, or uh, is it Kosovo? I don't don't know now for sure. Um, I would Lega to go through, and then probably also slightly favored over Karabakh, or also Karabakh could do, do something. And the one that is really... Um, maybe Karabakh should be... F ah. Should be a rather even matchup. Then the one where there will be for sure a small team is Sheriff uh, Tiraspol against Dundalk. Um, probably Sheriff and then Klaxvik against Dinamo Tbilisi. <sighs> the name from the name should be clear, this is Dinamo. But that one is a toss-up. Let's look at the league part and there's nothing beside it. I go tie by tie. I think Hapel Beersheva Motherwell, this now depends a lot on how the Corona situation in Israel evolves. Um, as Salzburg had to play yesterday. Uh, I will comment on it in a video tomorrow when we know all this. Stuff. Um, just by the name and whatever, I would say Pilsen goes through here. Rosenburg, Alanisburg, Enesmur, PSV. I think it will be Rosenburg against PSV, and we had that before last season. Uh, PSV will go through. And the same group where Lask and Sporting were in have another matchup too. So a very in, in, interesting uh, potential matchup there too. St. Gallen, Ajax, Wolfsburg, Dessner. Anything but Wolfsburg would be a surprise. It's not out of the question, but anything would, would be a surprise. But you see already, this is geared towards Wolfsburg in a way. Basel, Famagusta, CSK, Torsham. Um, I would say that CSK will go through and then Basel, and then Basel relatively easy. I think uh, the Famagusta uh, is probably the harder matchup. Then Sporting against Aberdeen will play at home to Lusk against Dunais Castreda. I am at the moment not even sure that Lusk will have an easy game against Dunais Castreda, although they are the better team, they should go through there. But then playing away to either Sporting or Aberdeen. Yes, we beat Sporting at home last season 3-0 and we should have won in Lisbon uh, with Bruno Fernandes scoring, of course, a goal. Um, I don't see it at the moment. I think that the winner of Sporting Everdeen and I think it will be Sporting will go through there. I'm sorry to say. Shalva uh, Partizan, Paul Limosol against Lech Poznan. Um, hmm. Rara open. Shalva. It's the Belgian team. If in doubt, go always with the best league. Besiktas Riava, Milan, Bodri claimed. If Milan doesn't do it, even if they go away to Besiktas, they should do that. I actually, I think that Rio Ave probably is not the big outsider that everyone will think it is. Come on, Klivice, Rijeka, Kolos, Copenhagen. That's made for them. Even if they have Bray Rijeka at home, I think they have to uh, go through. And then the last set, Malmö and the, uh, Lok Zagreb, Granada, Lok Tib Tbilisi. Uh, <laughs> it would be nice to have see Lok against Lok. No, it will be Malmö, Granada. Tough matchup. I give Granada the edge because they uh, star. Uh, they are starting strong, and then the next one also could be an interesting matchup. Skandia, uh, Spurs, Spurs should go through Rostov Haifa. I think it will be Rostov, and Spurs against Rostov is not that straightforward, but it will be Spurs that will go through. I mean, everything else would be a travesty, and if they don't make it, I think Mourinho should uh, duly be fired at that point. Uh, then a rather open one. Um, I think Apoel is the strongest team in there. I would love to see Stauer Bucharest go in there, but let's see. Stauer Lech Vojvodina should, uh, 
should go through and as a fair start start the runs is uh, even i would expect liege against start the runs and probably liege go through we'll see and then very open william dwe rangers galatasaray Hajduk. i mean Hajduk is a clear outsider as i see but from from names it's a wonderful <laughs> uh four names um part of me would like to see william dwe i think it will be rangers and i would not be unhappy about it either galatasaray uh away from home i don't see it but you know maybe they'll do it with two uh, i really don't have any fa favorites here i know it will not be Hajduk. so that's my thoughts on the Europa League draw for the playoff round. We'll talk a little bit more about the matchups when we know them. And yeah, uh, let me know what you think about these mat matchups. It's a junkie, you have to go through it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.